Hello, today I have a skirt and my customer want to tape it in uh, at the waist and along the size a little bit and um, I show you the style of this waist is on the back it have the zip and then they, they use the interfacing to line inside of the waist um, so the outside you can't see the joining of the weight because of the weight joining on the top of the skirt so in this case you have to unpack the interfacing inside of the skirt and then I do other side the same you don't have to unpick um, the whole lot you just unpick um, where the seam is too easy to open so the factory they join the, the interfacing on the top together and then they make the seam together and then they put this piece the top piece and the bottom piece together it means the stitching go across here so now we can sew direct from here down because they go this way so i like to do the shortcut way so if we do the shortcut way in the future if we want to take in and out it's easier so i unpick this one yeah just unpick this part and then I cut this off I cut the, this middle off okay I try to undo the stitching yeah okay so now it's very easy you open this one already and then you open this one already so you put two of them together from here to here and then you sew from the top cross the waistline and then down so i clean this And I want to take in about half inch so I just draw a little bit down yeah the original is here I want half inch in so I slightly 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 to go down and on the top is we do the same we do half inch smaller yeah and after you sew this one straight down here already it to take this part then we have to take some off if you don't want to take some off just leave it and then you just close this one back and then you use, use close this back and then you sew the top stitching back on uh, if you want to keep the original fabric but in this case it's too thick here so I want to cut it and after I sew it I take some off to make it thinner at this area okay I have to put both of them together okay seam the same seam you can pin it and then you sew it yeah it's the same so from here to here i do the same Yeah. 
but it's a little bit bulky here so in this case I want to make this part thinner so I cut a little bit here don't cut it too much because if you cut it too much you have to overlock again so I want to cover this one so I don't need to overlock again so after I cut this part in here I found the interfacing piece and uh, some some all seam fabric left over in here so I just unpick this one that's all because they iron on so a little bit hard to unpick it and this interface and I cut it up to this corner is thinner now so I just turn it over and then I pull fold it and then I do this the stitching on the top back on that's all and when you stitch uh, do the stitching back on remember this way for example at the, hand, the end, the hem go this way, so I have to turn this way. If I do that, when I ironing, the seam will be stay in one line. And one thing is, this seam have to go with the new seam. So you can pin this here and I have the old stitching here so I just follow the old stitching on the top. Yeah. Okay, that is for one side already. And then another size, I will do the same. Okay, that is all for today. Uh, please subscribe, like, and share my channel. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye bye.